Hello and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel, whichever one it may be. I just noticed I didn't turn my light on. Let me do that real quick. Okay, do this and then switch the mode. Oh, that's bright. Here we go. Nice warmer light or I think the next one is that light. That will be good. Okay, <laughs> and that is still kind of bright. We can tone down that brightness. But anyway, um, if you are new here, please feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment and come join us in the, this crazy vampire cat tribe that we happen to be. If you're a crazy cat person, you're definitely in. And if you're a vampire, you know, like, oh, for sure, you're totally in. You are into the tribe. You can be a vampire. You can be a crazy cat person. We all get along, right? Because cats and vampires would be perfect together. Uh, so anyway, this is going to be a standard whip and chat. I am working on this picture of a tractor trailer truck. I don't know what's going on over here. It almost looks like a tire, but like that wouldn't make sense. It's really interesting. But when I first looked at this and you see the rainbow of color, it doesn't it doesn't speak to what I feel like it is, which I think it's just a truck in sunset. <laughs> and now I see it, it's pretty cool. It looks pretty cool already. So let's go ahead and get into this side over here. I think I'm going to try to do these two squares. I may have to move my mic a little bit because I think once I start zooming in, it's going to change the position of everything. All right, there we go. There we go. Perfect. All right, you can see not over there. We can see over here not how far over here okay this is the whole section from this point on that we can't see but that's okay um let me mark it so i know we will use my patty wax wax to mark it so this is from patty wax it is the super sticky or ultra sticky or whatever in a sloth holding a rainbow honestly I didn't care about the rainbow part of it. I got it for the sloth. <laughs> My husband's really big into sloth, so I'm gonna stick him. He's gonna be like right up over here to show where it disappears. And then I am using this pen. Oh, look at that. Look at those colors. It's such a pretty pen. So nice and vibrant and colorful. I thought it went great with this picture because it's so colorful. It's an Easter color pen, but Honestly, it's colorful, so it goes. Um, this is from, I think it's O'Brien's Custom Turning or something. I know it's O'Brien's um, pen shop on Etsy. I'll link it down in the description so that you can look it up if you want to. And then this is from Nix's Notions. There it is, right there, Nix's Notions. I love these trays, absolutely love them. This is my favorite style tray. I've tried other style trays. I don't like them. This is the shrimp boat, and the shrimp boat just means, it's just narrower, because I like this size, the shrimp boat and then the tall boy, they're both in that same size, and then this one was a colorway, I don't remember which colorway this was, but it was a colorway. <laughs> then I have all my drills in these little, little containers, so let's just get into this, oh, there's a lot of this one in there, um, I am using, I think, Randa's uh, putty, but I barely replaced my putty, and I don't have any putty out, so. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's just is what it is, the old, gross, nasty putty that's in here. I probably need to replace it, but anyway, let's just go ahead and get into this whip and chat. So, whip, um... If you aren't new to the diamond painting community, sorry, let me just like restart my whole conversation there. If you are new to the diamond painting community and you've never diamond painted before, and this happens to be the first video that you're watching, hello and welcome. Um, there's a cat crying to come in and it's my baby and I better go get him. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> um... 
So if you are new to the diamond painting community and this happens to be the first video that you're watching and for some reason you have chosen a diamond painting whip and chat. I don't know why you would, but if you have. So WIP stands for work in progress. Basically, it's just the first letters of each word. So W-I-P, work in progress. And it pretty much works for any aspect of the crafting world. If you're painting, knitting, crocheting. Um, I'm sorry if I'm like extra breathing too. I'm so sick. I practically died over the last few days, and I just feel like, ugh, run down, but I'm trying, I'm trying, so I'm hoping I'm not too bad, I'm not trying to be too bad, but I do know that I am finding it more difficult to breathe with this sickness. I also did that section that I said I wasn't going to do. <laughs> Gotta remember, it's here. Wow, that is so far over. Okay. So, um, it's hard because it's uncovered. And I don't have anything to cover it with. I could, I suppose, back out. And see how far. But then you're not getting as good of a view as if it's closer in. So, let me just do this line up. Because that line shows. That line's definitely there. All right. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just dying. I'm just suffering. It's fine. But I do find it so hard to breathe. And I don't know why. Like, it's just, ugh. I guess it's every sickness that you ever get. And you're just trying to breathe. Yeah, those showed up. So do that line. Um, <laughs> Which is almost all of the A's. Is that one? Yeah, that one does too. In this section. Um, but yeah. So I think I'm on the other side of it now. And starting to get better. Feel better. And, you know, be more like myself. But I was thinking that I should show my face more. <laughs> in the videos. You know how some people, they start off the video with their face and I usually don't and the reason I don't is because I'm just too lazy to get up and do hair and makeup <laughs> like I just don't feel like it and then I look at myself and I'm like ew no I don't want to see myself in the camera and it's not that it's not that I'm not like okay to look at like I never do hair and makeup quite honestly like very rarely I never do it for work and I get hit on all the time so it's not that and I'm not saying that as a flex because like I never noticed it <laughs> my husband tells me I'm pretty all the time but like he's my husband <laughs> so you know but it's one of those things that because I'm kind of on the chubbier side I'm, as my husband says, I'm easy to see. And you, when you are, like, sorry if this is a little bit of a tangent here, <laughs> like going off on a tangent. Um, when you are a little bit more overweight, you tend to have a different view of yourself than what other people have. So, and it's not that I'm not healthy. Because I'm healthy. I'm just, you know, like I just struggle with um, weight. Like my husband doesn't have to struggle with weight. He can eat whatever he wants and he's always going to be skinny. <laughs> but me, on the other hand, I just look at food and I gain weight. <laughs> so I really have to be conscientious of what I'm eating and even then, it doesn't matter. Like, I know I shouldn't be eating anything with gluten in it. But I really, really like pasta. And I really, really like bread. <laughs> so it's it's hard. It's so hard. I mean, when I first found out I shouldn't eat lettuce, I, str I didn't really struggle with that, honestly. I, I can't say I struggled with that. 
not in the least did I struggle with not being able to eat lettuce. It's like it does it does make dieting harder though because everything is salads. They're like, oh, go on a diet and eat a salad for every single lunch every single day. By the way, I'm allergic to lettuce. I literally can't eat that stuff. So what am I supposed to do? Not saying I haven't found alternatives, but like how many days of the week do you want to eat a spinach salad? <laughs> you know, like before it gets old and before it gets boring, even just regular salad alone, I feel like. Is this one of the colors? Okay, I do have more of these colors coming, but I did notice that even with my spares that I don't necessarily have enough of the color. So if you did see the kit up video for this, um, if you didn't, you can go check it out. I tend to ramble, so I'm sorry, but yeah. So I understand with everybody out there who struggles with weight and like you struggle with it, not because I eat a lot. Like I don't eat a lot. I really don't. And like everybody is like, oh yeah, it's because, no, it's, I know it's because I'm eating the wrong things. I'm eating the wrong things, but I don't eat a lot. <laughs> you know, like a normal everyday average person of average weight probably eats more food than I do. <laughs> Like, it's weird because I don't eat lunch ever, which probably isn't the best way to go about it. Like, I probably should eat smaller meals, the same amount of food, but spread it out. <coughs> Sorry about that. Like I said, I'm sick, so it's going to happen every once in a while, and I apologize. But I honestly struggle with that. I struggle with that because I end up eating a big breakfast because I like breakfast. And quite honestly, I don't care for lunch foods. I know I could probably just eat whatever I want for lunch, but that's the meal that I don't care for the foods as much. So, and it, it's not because I don't exercise because I'm a pretty active person. I had a pretty active job, like a very active job. And um, I'm trying to get back into another fairly active job because I know that it does help to have an active job. And I try to stay active the rest of the time. It's just by not working, I know I'm not being as active as I was, but I'm still trying to get up, get out, walk and do that stuff. So there is that. Um, I like to take my cat with me. He likes to go for a walk with me. It's really fun. Because he just kind of walks along beside me. Or he'll run ahead. Or sometimes he'll hang behind and then he'll catch up real quick. It's really fun. He's literally my baby. <laughs> I think he knows it too. I think he knows how spoiled he is. Some of these are different colors. And it's weird. Not like a completely different color like that. But. Get out of there. But yeah, it's fun. So, you know, like I do try. And like I said, he comes for a walk with me, so it makes it more fun. You know, walking around the yard. Now that I have three acres to, like, I can walk on my three acres, and it's fun. It actually is fun to go walking. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's a struggle. It's a it's a total struggle. And I'm short, so it makes it even more noticeable. Like, if I wasn't short, I'd probably be fine. But I'm short, so there we go. And when I say I'm short, I'm short. Like, I am short. Um, people pick on me all the time for it. It's fine. I don't care. I don't care. And like I said though, like I get 
hit on all the time and I just never even noticed because like you don't think why why would they hit on me <laughs> why would they because you're pretty <laughs> oh <laughs> that's why <laughs> didn't know that I didn't know that one I'm sorry I didn't know that one you know like in high school because all my life like I heard you know, like, oh, you don't look good in that. Oh, you're not pretty enough. Oh, you're not this. You're not that. From, like, the main people in your life. And, and then, like, finally you start to hear, but you're very pretty. And you're like, oh, I am? <laughs> I am? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. And then you feel bad because, like, you don't want to be conceited by saying that you're pretty. But you know you're pretty. And then, like, you know you're pretty without makeup as well as with makeup. And I still feel awkward wearing makeup, so that's just where I'm going with that. Um, I don't show my face because I still feel awkward when I'm not. And when I don't have. And I'm not saying I do a lot of makeup. All I do is my eyes. That's it. I put eyeliner on and done. <laughs> so, like, how hard is it for me to do my makeup even? It's not. So, where am I going with this tangent? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. And I feel bad for anybody out there that's listening to this and is like, what the frick are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Don't ask me. Uh, you know what? I'm done. Let's talk about something different now. <laughs> I don't want to be conceited. I'm not really. I'm a nice, genuine person. Uh, okay. So, I'm not going to be doing very much this color. Uh, let's talk about, like, what I've done. I haven't really talked about... I don't know if I really talked about the cruise or not. I don't really, it doesn't really matter. It was fun. I had fun. That's all that matters. Uh, this past week, uh, my husband was sick. And then I'm sick. So there's not a whole lot going on. Like we're just getting through day to day. We had the plumbing done on our house. And then because I was sick, like now I realize that I didn't tell him about half of the plumbing stuff that needs to be done. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to finish this color and we're just going to do this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> now you can see it. And yeah, so we have the plumbing done. Um I feel bad because that day that we had the plumbing done, I was so sick. And then yesterday, I was supposed to have an interview for a job, and like I told him I wasn't gonna make it. I never heard back from him <laughs> to say like, okay, like you know, like nothing. So what are they trying to do? I have no idea what my cats are trying to do. We're trying to get in the bedroom. So I couldn't make it to the interview because I was so sick that there was just no way. So now I gotta hope that I get another interview with another job or that I can reschedule this interview. But so far, it's not looking good. <laughs> it looks like my chances with that job are done. And you know what? I guess that's life and that's how it happened. Maybe that one wasn't meant to happen. And it's time for me to apply to some more jobs. I try to apply to at least like one or two daily. So then at least I have like an, an option for hopefully getting a job. Why does this one look like it's, maybe it's just a camera. I don't know. They look, it's weird. <laughs> they're not. They look like they're going crooked. Like the drills just look crooked. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, so, uh, so that happened, 
And then, yeah, we had the plumbing done. I had our internet service upgraded because um, we ended up buying Starlink because we had Hughes internet. And Hughes internet, it sucked so bad. Like after about six o'clock at night, we would have no internet, none whatsoever. And then it would be about, how far over? Oh, we can go pretty far over in this one. Uh, after about, um, yeah, so then we'd have no internet for the night. So you couldn't do anything. You couldn't watch YouTube. You couldn't do anything. Like I honestly found myself playing The Sims every night because that's all I could do. Like literally, The Sims on PlayStation. And so, you know, like I'm just sitting and we're just like, ugh, this is annoying. My husband couldn't play his games ever. He couldn't even download his games. That's how bad this internet service was. We were get hitting one to two megabits per second. And we were promised like up to 25. Never got there. I think the most we ever got was 10 to 11. So... I called up and scheduled an appointment with the local internet company and they were supposed to come, but they didn't come and they were only offering like 10 megabits per sec second as you know, like there, that's what they could offer. They don't have fiber yet. So it's, you know, like it's all they had. So I forgot to cancel them though, cause then it, they didn't come on the day that they said they were gonna be there. So we ended up going and getting Starlink. We went to Best Buy, we paid the money for the Starlink and we got the Starlink. <clears throat> so, and I was like, okay, I just have to call and cancel the local internet company so that they don't come. And I forgot and um, they came and they set it all up. And then they told us, hey, look, you know, like we see you have the Starlink. We totally understand that that's probably better than what we're offering. You know, just call and cancel at any point. I still have to call and cancel. But uh, we decided to use them because we were going on the cruise. We decided to use their internet service instead of the Starlink so we could put the Starlink stuff away and then we didn't have to worry about it being sitting out. And while we were on vacation, and nobody was home to, you know, like be home to watch the house. At this point, we now have three internet services. We have Hughes, because I didn't call to cancel Hughes either. We have Starlink and we have the local internet service. We use the local one because our Hughes box, for some odd reason, like it just completely stopped working and there was no nothing coming through it like it just broke it just decided it didn't it was plugged in it was plugged into everything and it just wasn't working they just opened the door to the bedroom where my husband's sleeping so i'm going to have to go close that real quick because my big cat is running around the house like a maniac and there's no knob on the door so it's just pressurized against the wood to keep it closed so i'm gonna have to go close that back up i'll be right back all right i'm back that's yeah that's fun it's another thing we need to fix there's a knob on the door technically so you can pull it and close it but there's no latch on the door you know the part that goes into the wall so like there's like a you know like there's an opening in the wall and then there's a part that goes into that opening um, we took that out because it was permanently locking. So then, like, if you closed the door, the door would lock, and then you'd have to fight with it to try to get it open again. And we already have a doorknob for it. You just, well, no, we don't have a doorknob for that. We have a doorknob for the other one that doesn't have a doorknob on it. Because... Honestly, like, this whole house just needs new doors. Like, it really, it just needs new doors. <laughs> it needs all new doors. Is what it needs. Uh, but they're not normal door frames. I mean, it looks like a normal door frame. 
the front door is not a normal door. The front door is not a normal door anyway. It's a camper door. <laughs> it's weird. But yeah, we've got we've got some work to do on this house. But now that I we've come to the point where I now need to get a job in order for us to keep being able to afford to live. So I'm working on it. it I can't say that it hasn't been fun because it is, it is kind of nice to have your days to do the things that you want to do, the things that you need to do. You know, it's been nice because I can do things around the house. Um, like changing the light switches and stuff. I got to do more of that. You have to go through this entire house and change all of the light switches and all of the wall sockets. Every single one of them needs to be changed because at some point there was a big infestation in this, in this house and there's not an infestation now but there was and because of it there is a lot of damage to the wall sockets especially and the light switches this house isn't very old it was only built in 1995 so it's not very old but still like there's so much damage to these things like honestly in some places, it looks like somebody kicked them or something. Like, it's so bad. And then in other places, like the wall socket that I already replaced completely fell apart when I opened it up. <laughs> so it's like you can just imagine what the other wall sockets are gonna be like. Anyway, um, so yeah. So yeah, we've gotten to the point where I need a job. I still have a lot of work to do on the house. I have to go get another doorknob now because now we need to replace that doorknob on that door. We need to, I need to finish the doorknob on the other door because we have the doorknob for the other bedroom's door. It just hasn't been a priority to f go in and like to try to fix it because yeah, I know I should make it. Like, I don't really know if I even need to make it a priority. It's kind of like our our back door that looks like a front door, but it's our back door. Uh, it's had water. Every time it rains, water just kind of pours down onto the door. So the whole door is just rotted out. And it needs to be replaced. So we bought a doorknob for that door, but if the whole door needs to be replaced, why would I replace the doorknob? I mean, and the whole door needs to be replaced. Like the door needs to be replaced, the door frame needs to be replaced. And these are things that I don't think I could do on my own. So I'm waiting until we hire the contractor to do the floors, which that means I need to find a contractor. Um, I think I'm just going to try the one on Facebook. Call that guy and see how he is. It's hard though. Because if you call it like a single guy rather than a company, because like a company, they're going to have the ability to have more people to be able to send right away. Whereas a single guy is probably going to have to be like, okay, well, I can schedule you. And you're going to have to wait to get it done. I mean, like, it's not like everything is needing to be done right away. It just needs to be done. Um, oh, I'm going to cough again. I'm sorry. <coughs> okay. Being sick sucks. It really sucks. Oh, and I'm allergic to cough drops, so I can't use those. I do have mints, but I don't know. I don't want to be sucking on a mint and talking on a mic. That's not fun. This isn't that kind of ASMR video. Even though my husband keeps telling me I should do that. <laughs> He's like, you'd be great at it. 
Thanks, honey. Thanks for telling me I should do food ASMR. Appreciate it. Why is that one a different color? It's not. <laughs> also, I just realized I did it again. I didn't move this over. Um, let's move the canvas. Lift the microphone. Then move canvas. Move it that way. And then I'm going to zoom out because I'm just, I'm not going to think about it. So, I'll do the best I can with what I have. Um, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Should have just done that from the start. Don't know why I didn't. Uh, yeah. So, um, this has been an okay canvas to work on. I have no complaints with it. It's just, it's off of Amazon, so it's not licensed or anything. It's just a picture of a truck at sunset. Um, nothing really to it other than that. And I'm not sure what to do as far as um, my videos go on what people want to see and what people like. I do the whipping chats. Honestly, like some of my whipping chats get a lot of traction. Some of my whipping chats don't get a lot of traction. And, you know, like we're out here doing YouTube. I don't know about most creators. Honestly, I started doing YouTube because like it like I really like it I don't know why but I like it I like doing videos I like I like sitting here and talking to myself <laughs> I'd rather do this than go talk to people because it's what I enjoy like I enjoy doing this like legitimately I enjoy making YouTube videos and making YouTube content. Like I even thought today about doing, cause I just bought the game Pal World and I know it's like a big thing right now and stuff. And like, I thought about doing Twitch streams of Pal World again, or, you know, like doing Twitch streams again. And the last time I, cause I checked my channel, the last time I uploaded a game video like my game videos are getting a hell of a lot less traction than my AI uh, my uh, diamond art videos get but uh the last time I uploaded was two years ago and it's like I really enjoy making YouTube content like I really enjoy it I don't know if I make good content but it probably is something that I would appreciate feedback on like I would like to know what people want to see, what people want to know. If you don't like ramblings of other people, you know, like, do you want to listen to someone just ramble about their life? Because that makes you feel like you're sitting with another person and you're just listening to them chit chat <laughs> while you're, you know, working on your diamond art. Uh, or do you want to hear fun facts and stuff or um you know it'd probably be kind of fun to do like a a lot of people like true crime <laughs> like a true crime diamond art whip and chat channel <laughs> like, you just sit there and work on your diamond art and do a true crime story you know like I wonder if people would actually enjoy that because I'd be up for doing that you know, like one video a week or something could be a true crime. Honestly, I could probably turn my Friday videos into that. Because my Friday videos are supposed to be diamond paint along with me anyway. So, like, why not do a true crime whip and chat every Friday and see how it goes? Like, I guess I could try that and see how it goes and see if people like it. It might bring a little bit of a different um, personality to the channel. I don't know. It might not, because, like I said, a lot of us are probably really into true crime and really into listening to it. 
because I feel like that is just something that you can talk about. <laughs> and it doesn't matter, like it matter, like you can talk about it in any aspect because there's no limitations to being able to talk about it. If that makes sense. But anyway, I feel like I've been rambling on for about, it's got to be around a half an hour at this point. And um, yeah, so please feel free to give me feedback. Honestly, I appreciate feedback. I love comments. Like, I did get a weird one though that I'm like, I have no idea what to do do with it I think YouTube blocked it so it's not it's not showing up the only way I can see it is if I go to my channel um, YouTube studio YouTube creator thing and then I can see it but you can't see it if you go to the video and look at it like you can't see that there's a comment even there and I'm like what, <laughs> what even is this <laughs> What is this comment? <laughs> Where did it come from and why? <laughs> it's just weird. I'm not going to say what the comment is because I just don't. Yeah, yeah I'm not. I just, I'm not going to say what the comment is. But yeah, it just. Because like I said, YouTube blocked it and they blocked it for a reason. So. Yeah, but still, I like it's just it's weird because like it shows that there's a comment and then <laughs> there's no comment. Anyway, um, I think that's about it for today. This has been fun. I haven't been doing. I can't say I've been diamond painting. I've been diamond painting. I got those little buddies from Craft Buddy. I've been working on those. I worked on this one day. I finished the opposite side of this one. And it's been fun. Like I said, it's not been bad. It's not been bad. We can zoom out again. Let's go ahead and see if we can pull this truck back into frame. There we go. Oh my gosh, I just dropped my pen. Eh, well, it's fine. It didn't. It went into the cat scratch pad, so it's fine. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope I haven't been too breathy. That's one of the things I don't like when I go into a video, is if somebody is, like, just gasping for breath the entire video. I don't particularly care for that, so I hope I am not like that. I try not to be. I try to be very clear when I speak. But I am sick, and I do know that that might come across through the video. So I do apologize for that. Um, is there anything else? Because I do find myself watching creators who tend not to be that way. And I also find that I like calm creators. <laughs> it's weird. I like ones who have a calming kind of voice or a calm manner about them. Rather than always being kind of chipper and stuff. You know, like, I do find that I'm drawn more to calmer creators but I also don't like mouth noises so that's probably why if you're gasping for breath I'm not gonna likely watch your channel not because I don't like you as a creator you could be a really great person and we could get along just fine in real life it's just sometimes what comes over the mic is not what you're listening to in real life or not what you're hearing in real life and I do think that people tend to get more nervous when they're on a camera so there's the nerve aspect of it too so then you end up finding yourself just kind of gasping and trying to catch your breath every so often a little bit more so then it turns into a little bit like a <sighs> thing and I'm sorry there that I did that but yeah so that's that's that aspect of it um <sighs> It's that's a weird tangent for the end there, but you know, I do like I do find myself being drawn more to those kind of creators, so 
it's no offense to anybody else. Everybody is great. Everybody does a wonderful job. And I will say that, like, I genuinely do watch people's videos. Uh, like yesterday, I was watching someone on TikTok. I happened to just fall into their live. And I was watching them, and they only had about five people watching them at that point. But nobody was talking, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to, to say hi. So I did, and then I asked a couple questions, you know, just to get the creator kind of talking. And she was a pretty decent creator, there was nothing wrong with her, it's just that nobody was talking to her, so she wasn't talking. And once I got her talking, then other people got into it. Other people started talking. So it was nice because it gave her that opportunity to have people come into her channel and actually talk with her because, you know, somebody came in and decided, hey, you know what, I'm just going to I'm just going to start talking to him and help him out because I was a Twitch streamer. I totally know what that's like. <laughs> When people don't talk in your lives. Um, I don't have TikTok streaming ability yet. I'm only at well, roughly 300 and something followers on TikTok. But I feel like TikTok's going to surpass YouTube soon. Because I have 300 and 400 and something subscribers on YouTube. 300 and something followers on TikTok. And I bet TikTok will just fly past YouTube soon. Because I feel like that's going to just happen. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. But I just feel like that's going to happen. <clears throat> um, and then, yeah, so... You know, there are some creators that I think do an absolutely fabulous job in the diamond painting community. And I watch their channels. And I enjoy their channels. And I've started leaving comments because... <laughs> that's one thing I really struggle with is leaving comments on videos especially because like when I'm watching a video I tend to just watch the video and that's it so now I'm trying to watch the video give them a like and leave them a comment and help them out because yeah <clears throat> there's some great diamond art people out there that are you know like in the same area as I am <laughs> under a thousand subscribers and you know we're we're good we're good diamond art people I don't think there's anything wrong with our channels. <laughs> and I was saying I don't watch the big channels, too, because I started with... Who did I start with? Oh, my gosh. I can't even remember. Add More Zest. Um, that channel. I started with that channel. And Mrs. Coffee. And uh, for me, Add More Zest was too, too hyper. There was just too much hyperness to it. Like, it was okay, but there was too much hyperness to it. Mrs. Coffee was great. I still watch Mrs. Coffee. And who do I still watch? I still watch Anxiety Art Adventures. I love her channel. And... <laughs> I have to think. There's, um... Chef Diamond, Crafty Chef Diamond, her channel, Diamond Painting with Jack. I like to watch the, the guy there too. I can't think of his channel name. Real Men Craft, I think is it. I like to watch his videos. And he does, like, yarn stuff, too, sometimes, I think, right? No, or is that somebody else? Is that the yarn, the Smells Great guy that does the yarn stuff? Real Men Craft does the jewelry, I think. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, <laughs> and there's others that are kind of in that level of hyperness or happiness or they're kind of calm but they're genuine they're nice people you can tell by their channels <laughs> does that make sense they're not too hyper they're not too crazy 
they do great videos. I really enjoy their stuff. Um, yeah, so, you know, that's just a real ramble at this point. So if you've made it to the end of this video, um, let me know, like, who got you into watching diamond painting channels? Like, which, which channel did you watch first? Because I want to say the first one for me was probably an Add More Zest video. And then Mrs. Coffee. <laughs> so, like, those were the two that I saw first when I was looking into diamond painting videos. <clears throat> and now I watch a lot more channels. And I try to help out my fellow YouTubers a little bit here and there with the likes and the subscribes and stuff. And, well, you know, because it's, we're all doing the same thing. We're all doing it because we want to do it and we love it. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, let me know who got you into watching diamond painting videos. Okay, <laughs> there was a hair on my, on there. <laughs> but yeah, so um, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed my really weird ramble that went on today. It's probably sick brain, so you know how it goes. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching.